Hello everybody on YouTube, it is Mastercraft here guys, and today, if you can tell by the title, uh, depending if I change I probably won't, but there is some material that is now stronger than diamond, you heard me right, an element stronger than diamond guys, and um, we're about to get right into that now. So before the video starts guys, make sure to go ahead, drop a like, and subscribe, uh, I'm not sure if this mic is good. Um, it's like kind of an older mic, so, you know, uh, I'm using it to film on my phone, as you guys can see. Um, but this is, these are the Minecraft, the Minecraft snapshots, and, um, what they are doing, and all the no, patch notes. Not too many, but it's pretty cool. And this is one of the first times I'm going over it myself, so you may hear me be surprised a little bit. But anyways, let's get right into it. Oh yeah, guys, giveaway in the description below. Anyways, uh, we can see this is version 1.16 or 1.16, whatever you want to call it. And these are the features. So, obviously, you guys know about the Nether update. So, they added new Nether blocks, which isn't surprising. Knockback resistance is now a scale instead of a probability. Okay, okay. Added crimson forest biome to the Nether. Okay, that's another um, biome. Hoglins. They don't do much yet. But they have cute flappy ears. I have seen them, and they're almost like pigs, guys. Pigs. Pig mobs. They're really cool. Kind of like pigmen, except they're actual pigs. But, um... Patrols no longer spawn when the player is close to any village. Okay, I like that. Netherite. Now, guys, netherite is what you're going to be adding to your diamond armor to actually upgrade it and make it stronger. So that's pretty crazy. I still can't believe that they made something you could literally upgrade diamond armor sides enchantments. That's That's ridiculous. Added Soul Sand Valley biome to the Nether. Okay, another another biome. Walls don't have gaps anymore when stacked vertically. Finally, oh my goodness, Minecraft, you will finally fix that. Thank you so much. So basically, guys, the walls will be straight, and there won't be like a whole bunch of like messed up stuff. I don't know. You can't even explain it. When you build walls, there's like gaps and space between. That won't happen anymore. So that's good. Added warp forest, forest biome to the nether. Okay, that's cool. Another biome. Here it has, like, blue fire, which is really cool. But, um, blocks. Alright, we have two new wood-like materials, which is crimson stems and warped stems, which is pretty cool. I like that. That sounds cool. Basalt blocks, you can find them as pillars, but they can be placed in any direction. That's actually pretty cool. New ground surface blocks. Crimson. I don't even know how to say that. Nylium. And warp nylium, I think that's how you say it. New vegetation, nether sprouts. Okay, that's pretty cool. Crimson roots and warped roots. There are two types of fungi, which is crimson and warped. Obviously, bone meal, you know, it can grow anything pretty fast, so. Warped warp blocks. Okay, that's cool. I'm assuming that's for the uh, warped part of the nether, the nether biome. Weeping vines that grow from the, bot the bottom of block downwards. Okay, okay. A new natural light source. Interesting. Okay, we have torches, we have glowstone, we have redstone lamps. We have a lot of light sources, guys, so I'm surprised they had another one, but mushroom lights, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Soul soil? Alright, whenever fire burns on soul soil, it burns with a blue flame. Okay, I did see the um, picture of the patch update for that. It looks really sick, guys. Literally blue fire. Although when you catch on fire, it's still orange, which doesn't really make sense, but, you know, maybe it'll fix that. Alright, um, soul soil can be used to craft soul torches. Okay, so there's another kind of torch now, and those can be crafted in soul lanterns. Good to know. Using bone meal on netherrack can now spread nylium. Okay, another cool thing to know. Crimson forth, this just goes over it. Carpets the cave floor with all kinds of strange new vegetation. So that's pretty cool, guys. We're actually getting more caves in the nether now with ores and stuff. So that's going to be sick. Huge crimson fun fungi make, make up the trees of this forest. With shroom lights lighting up the forest floor. Now, a lot of this stuff, guys, if you've seen the pictures, is like in nether fortresses, which is pretty cool. It's like an abandoned nether fortress almost. Weeping vines grow from the cave ceilings of fungi. Hoglins wander these forests. Okay, that's like the pig mob was talking about. Crimson spores swirl through the air. Netherite. Okay, guys, look, this is the thing I'm so excited to get my hands on. I 
I need to get this in Minecraft. A new high level material found in the nether. Use it to upgrade your diamond gear. Like, oh my god, that is just crazy. I still can't believe they're doing that. And this just tells you how to make it. Mine ancient debris in the lower depths of the nether at your own risk. No insurance coverage for that. Okay, that's funny. Refine it into netherite, netherite scrap and furnace. Blast furnace. Okay, that makes sense. Combine four nether scrap with four gold ingots in the craft table to make another ingot. Netherite ingot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm making this at night, so I am kind of tired and I want to go to bed. Alright, effects of netherite. Netherite items float in lava. Wow. Okay, so they actually do not get burned up. That is pretty insane. So if you guys drop your loot and your like your loot and stuff with netherite in it, it doesn't burn. That's awesome. Higher enchantment value than gold, or I'm sorry, than diamond. Not as high as gold. Okay, that's interesting. Whoops. Netherite tools work faster and last longer than diamond. Obviously, because it's stronger and you added the diamond, so that would, that would make sense if it made it weaker. Netherite weapons do more damage than diamond. That Okay, so I almost wonder if it's going to make it like a trident, but still a sword. Now, I do not know if it's going to be able to do more than the trident. Even though the trident's only one more or the same. I doubt it will do any more damage than the trident. I doubt it. Higher toughness and durability, obviously. Netherite armor gives you knockback resistance, so you can barely get knocked back at all when hit by arrows and such. And it looks cool. Okay, guys, so basically what it sounds like to me they are doing, it almost sounds to me like we're getting bedrock armor here. Like, it's pretty overpowered. Soul Sound Valleys. And then these are, like, you know, the other, you know, the other biomes for the nether. An open space made mostly of soul sand and soul soil. All right, we already have soul sand, not soul soil, so that's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. Basalt pillars span from floor ceiling. Okay. Fossil remains of unknown creatures from the past lid of the valley. All right, so we're finally getting fossils in the nether. That's going to be pretty sick. Ash falls through the air. A light blue glow envelopes the hour. Or, I'm sorry, envelopes the valley. I have no idea why I said hour. Beware of skeletons here. All right, so I wonder if we're only just going to get a new skeleton-type mob. Or if it's going to be like a stray. I'm thinking just because the way they're describing it, it sounds like it's going to be a stray. That That's just to me how it sounds. Gas sounds are now heard at a shorter range. Okay, that's good. I'm sick of gas sounds being super, super annoying. Updated block sounds for bone blocks, netherrack, soul sand, nether wart, nether bricks, and quartz ore. That's good. That's good. That's good. I don't really care about that too much, but you know, that's fine. Warp forces can now be found in the nether. Okay. Nor warped nylium carpets the cave floor. Okay. With different types of vegetation. It's going to be cool. Warped fungi make up the trees of this forest with shroom lights lighting up the forest. Okay. A dark blue fog covers the forest. Okay. That's gonna, that, this sounds very, very cool. I really, I really want to get my hands on the patch notes, guys. I'm sorry. The actual... The actual patch. I can't wait till it comes out. But the least hostile place in the nether. Okay, so the warp forest is almost going to be like a safe zone. I guess it's going to be like no mobs. Or like very little. Alright, world generation. The old nether biome is now called nether wastes. That's interesting. Now, if you guys really think about it, it's literally just red burning netherrack. So, there's nothing there. So, I guess that makes sense. So... Yeah, I kind of like what they did there. Made shipwrecks and ocean ruins a bit less common, so you can get more excited when you find one. That is good, because I had a couple worlds where it's like, honestly, I love the shipwrecks and what they did with it, but, like, you'd find a whole bunch, and they'd all have, like, diamonds, so, like, you can literally hop into a world and first day on, just find diamonds within, like, your first five minutes just going into the ocean finding ships, so it kind of kind of ruined the fun, but I'm glad they did that. That's all that we don't really care about. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, tomorrow, I will actually play this on Minecraft. I'll play it early for you guys to see. Uh, but for today, I just wanted to get out all the patch notes. But yeah, I just want to 
I'm gonna let you guys know that for tomorrow. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss the notification tomorrow. Check out the description below for a giveaway. And um, yeah, I hope to see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.